Uh, and Sheriff, you mentioned something that I know is true, and that is that uh, the mental health uh, situation, uh, the prisons are the, the last resort. People who have serious mental health issues end up in prison, and they oftentimes have behavior challenges, correct? That's correct. I, I firmly believe that if we as a country did a better job of identifying and helping people with their mental health, that many of them would not end up incarcerated because the mentally ill do not need to be in jail. They need no, assistance. I'm, you know, I'm in agreement with you. I was a public defender. I agree with that. I think you're right. Um, and you don't have the resources, and then it becomes the last resort where people who have a mental health issue, you can't control them. And uh, I don't know if it's out of frustration or safety, but they go in solitary confinement and it gets worse. I mean, the real question I have is whether there should be a ban, in effect, uh, with very very severe limitations for the Durban situation that we heard about on the use of, of solitary confinement. Uh, and I'll ask you to answer that, Dr. Peters, but it really comes, uh, Sheriff, from my experience being similar to yours, that you're asking the jails in the criminal justice system to deal with mental health.